This video, we're going to talk about the member blacklist. So what the blacklist allows you to do, as the, the description says here, specific email addresses and IP addresses can be prevented from registering by adding them to the blacklist. So if you have someone that you want to prevent from registering, then you can you can add them to the blacklist. Now, if you remember from the manage members video, um, what we did there, when you when you open up a member and are able to edit them, uh, in, in that screen, then you can also, one of the options is you can add them to the blacklist right there. So if you, this is also, if you just want to see who's on your blacklist and maybe you want to remove somebody as well, you can come in here and do that, uh, as well. But this is fairly straightforward, whatever the, for the email blacklist, whatever the email address is, you just type it in here and, and you can, that will keep that email address from being able to, to sign up. You can also use wildcards. So this is a sp if you want a, a specific email address, this is if you want all email addresses from a particular domain, and this is if you want all email addresses from a particular like top level uh, domain. That's a pretty uh, broad stroke here, so I, I doubt in most cases you're going to want to do that. This here is even pretty broad, um, so I'm not sure, but if there's a email service provider that's just notorious for spam and you don't want to have them anybody using that email address to be able to to sign up to your site you can certainly do that but most of the time i would say you're probably going to do this specific one here so again just add the email address and that will block them ip addresses you know if you're familiar with ip addresses or or maybe using a a um, security plugin like WordPress or WordPress or Security or whatever, and you're seeing IP addresses that it is is blocking and is is um, tr uh, flagging and so forth, and you want to add those over here. Usually, if they're blocking them, then it's not necessarily something you're going to have to worry about. But or maybe your your host has contacted you and said, you know, this this IP is. Just, you know, they're, they've been just hitting your site over and over again, or you're getting, uh, you know, any sort of weird issue and you just want to block that IP address and you have it, you can certainly enter it here. Again, you can do the full IP address. You can use a wild card um, for, for different levels of the IP address here as well. That will just, as you, essentially this will get broader and broader in terms of what it blocks, uh, the, the, the fewer, <laughs> the fewer num numbers you enter here. So again, just be a little bit careful with that. You could end up, you know, blocking a whole swath of people you didn't really want to. Um, so generally it's probably best to be very specific with it, but again, you can enter those here. Then down here, you, you can edit the messages people will see. So if the the email, their email is blocked, this is the message they'll see, and you can sort of edit that. If the IP is blocked, this is the message they'll see, and then this is what they'll see if both are blocked. Um, and so you can enter that message here as well. Hit save, and you're all set to go. So it's pretty straightforward in terms of how to actually use this particular uh, tool. It's just a matter of having the IP or having the email address.